This is the 75333 Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter from LEGO Star Wars. In this video we're going to take a look at this set's build and figures, and at the end I will give you the price you should pay for this set. Let's take a look at the features in this build. Starting out with the new style of the stud shooters, these operate as expected and are placed on the top of the Starfighter. Extra studs are included for these as well, but just try not to lose the ones you have. Additionally, on the left wing of the Starfighter there is a turntable for mounting R4's head, and a hidden compartment inside of the ship itself for R4's body when using this feature. Separating these is not ideal, but it is the best solution for this feature. Additionally, there is the small radar dish right behind this feature on the wing, which is neat in itself and poses some good articulation, but there's no good place to stick it if you don't want it on the ship. Moving back to the cockpit, there is a printed 1x2x2 2 thirds sloped control panel, and a nice looking backrest, and a nice spot to seat Obi-Wan. Concerning the landing gear of this ship, there is only one strut on the front of this ship. The ship can land, but similar to previously released Jedi Starfighters of this style, there are some balance and stability issues when landed. If you're looking for a place to stick Obi-Wan's lightsaber while he pilots the craft, there is a clip which you can use underneath. And last, regarding play with swooshing the ship around, there's not really any natural place that my hand gravitated towards to hold this ship from, and most of the places that it did go to were too small or sleek to really get a good grasp on the vehicle. The minifigures included in this set are Obi-Wan Kenobi, Tan Wei, and R4P17. As far as Obi-Wan Kenobi is concerned, there is good quality printing on this figure with no issues, and the printing here is fairly accurate. Two faces are included here, one with the flight headset printed on and one without, which I'm very excited about because this is something that I've been complaining about for quite a while. Ultimately, I'm glad to see this fixed and that our Jedi Starfighter figures will be slightly more useful than they were before. This figure also does come with a hood, which is a nice inclusion and accurate to the scene. However, one thing that I would add is that this figure also could have benefited greatly from having a cloth cape element. Obi-Wan Kenobi here is armed with a lightsaber. Tan Wei is included in the set, and I must admit that it is finally nice to see a Kaminoan in a Lego form that is not in one of the video games. The printing here is good and accurate, and the head mold is quite nice. This figure is unarmed. The last figure included in this set is R4P17. Although this figure does look familiar, it is actually currently unique to this set due to some slight printing updates. The printing is accurate, but there is no back printing on this astromech, which would have been nice. The head print on this particular figure is a bit warped, and this is a common and known quality issue and has been for a while. This figure is also unarmed. Now that we've taken a look at what this set has to offer, let's talk about value. This is a 282 piece set. If this was priced at $0.10 cents per part, that would be $28.20, and based on the volume of what is here, I would say this is about $23 worth of LEGO. The average of these two values is $25.60, and the minimum sale percentage for that price is 14.67%. As far as my recommendation is concerned, I would like to point out that this set is very similar to the recently released Jedi Starfighters and the previous version of Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter. That being the case, it has very many of the same issues, such as the gaps in the fuselage, the landing gear stability issues, the lack of storage space, and the high number of stickers. If you'd like to see how this style of Starfighter compares to the older style, such as the Clone Wars sets from 2008 and slightly onward from after that, I did create a comparison video between the newer Anakin's Jedi Starfighter and the original one, which I'll link in the description for you to watch. Still though, it is worth noting that this is a nice looking model. However, my opinion on this set is that if you don't have the last one, you should probably get this one if you're in the market. Otherwise, I would look to acquire Tonway separately. And my reason for saying that is that I do not believe that this set is a substantial improvement over the last iteration of this vehicle, which also included a full hyperdrive ring for the fighter to dock in. So if you want to see how the newer Jedi Starfighters compare to the older ones, watch my comparison video. Otherwise, thanks for watching.